My name is Tom from the First Aid Training Cooperative and in this short video I'm just going to show you how to add emergency contact information to an Android phone. So I've borrowed an Android phone here and let's just, uh, it's on the home screen, let's just open up the um, settings. Okay, so adding emergency contact information is done on an Android via the users and accounts. So within settings, users and accounts, and if you scroll down, See emergency information, info and contacts for Ken, whose phone it is. So there we go, there's the emergency contact information page. And we can go ahead and start adding in some information. So it's Ken's phone. So it auto-populates that. I could add his address. Um, a blood type there. So let's say he's A+. Plus. Um, we could add in any allergies in this one, medications that he might use. Let's say he's an organ donor, so we'll add that in as well any medical notes as well. Now, other important thing to do up here is the contacts um, section on the contacts tab there. You can add a contact. So it'll just bring up your contact book. Um, so you might add uh, your mum, your spouse, your dad, whoever, whoever you'd like to be called in an emergency situation. Once you're happy with all of that, add it in whatever you want. Let's go back and let's actually just turn the phone off. So now, if Ken was to ever be in an accident, and someone tried to um, find out information about him via his phone, you could turn the phone on. They're not going to know his, um, his passcode though. So what they might do is they might hit the emergency button there and at the top you can now see emergency information. So if we press that and it invites you to press it again just to confirm. There we go. And then the information that we've put into that form is now available for anyone to see. Okay, I hope that's been uh, helpful for you and useful. Please check out our other blogs and feel free if you've got any questions, just ask them via the contact form on our website.